Brock Purdy, supposed to play in preseason game number three. Apparently not preseason game number two, although this week they're going to be lifting the restrictions on him. He's going to be able to throw every day. What do you make of this development? Well, I mean, I think it's important that he plays, um, you know, some, you know, establish a rhythm and play. And I think it's really important for Darnold to play more, too. I thought yesterday, the one thing I, I'm not, I know Sam Darnold can do it in a short amount of time. I have less confidence that sh Sam Darnold can do it in a longer period of time because there's been so many inconsistencies throughout his career. So don't give me a few plays of Sam Darnold, a highlight splash, and then take him off the field for Brandon Allen. I want to see I want to see Sam Darnold get some more run because I've got more questions about the consistency of Sam Darnold and the consistency of Trey Lance than I do about the consistency in Brock Purdy. I'm more concerned about Brock Purdy's ball. How well can he throw the ball? How much ball speed does he have? How accurate yeah. is he and how much ball speed Me does too. he have? That's if what he I need has to know. ball speed and he has accuracy, I know he's accurate and I know he can process and I know he can throw a timing. I need to see Lance and Darnold, especially if they're actually competing for one spot. I need to see them on extended runs in these last two games. I think it's important to see Brock in, in a preseason game. I know they're going to start on week one, but still, this training camp hasn't been great. And they need to know why. If he goes and plays a preseason game and it looks good, then forget training camp. But if it carries over to the preseason game and it is an issue of zip and he doesn't quite because he spoke in Henderson and while the Niners say oh, he's good, he's ready, he's good, he's cleared. He says, I'm just trying to get back. I'm not quite like he's more hesitant when it says that when, when he talks about this stuff. So I think it's important to play him in the regular in the preseason just to make sure just to make sure. I agree. I'm not he saying you bench him if he, if he plays poorly, but I think there's enough questions that you want to see him in a preseason game. And and they are going to play him in the preseason, but I would like to see him Good. a little bit in the next two games, and it sounds like we're probably just going to see him against the Chargers. Manny Fresh says, uh, it's giving Flav's girl loves Trey, and he's mad. Okay. Uh, Monsa says, Kyle CMC Yush is very telling. He's going to be heavily featured in the passing game, running game, not so much. I doubt he gets the carries because Kyle uh, put planning with CMC. Early prediction. I just hope CMC stays healthy because the Niners have like all these, it's a top heavy team. And like most of those highly paid players get hurt a lot. So they're good as long as they're healthy. They don't have the depth they used to have. Aziz, Jimmy, Abacom, Amen Hugh, Manny Fresh. None of these quarterbacks will ever win a Super Bowl. That's what I think. We'll Kay see. Adams tweeted about your conspiracy theory. Yes, she shit on it. I'm sorry. Did Thanks, she? <laughs> what did she say? Yeah. It's, <laughs> said uh, like the best conspiracy theory since the moon landing or giving the moon landing <laughs> a run for the, its money. Fair enough. 